morning guys this is John Phillips uh, it's uh, Tuesday September 20th I'm heading out got to go put a 50 gallon water heater in this morning I uh, got one that's inside of a house the garage is five feet away I don't know why they didn't just put it in the garage but uh, it is what it is 50 gallon medium real good customer of mine I've had her for 15 years or so she's a very sweet lady she's in a wheelchair um, but she's always calling and I uh, just really like her try to make sure I give her a good good deal and uh, take care of her um, but I got a man my elbow this morning <clears throat> it's fucking getting old shit ain't ain't for sissies it ain't fun man I, I, my elbow has been swelling up lately on my right arm and it's bursitis is what it is but this morning it's um uh, it's really swollen i mean not really really swollen but it's worse than it was yesterday and i just looked it up and it said, uh, you know, it can be life-threatening, really, if it gets infected. And I'm on immunosuppressant drugs, so it's a real issue. So I gotta go put this heater in and then uh, go get my elbow checked. They probably put me on antibiotics according to what I, my doctor said, which is WebMD. <laughs> Anyways, I got a good idea what, what it's all about. It's on the outer, the bursa sac on the outside of my elbow, uh, closest to the bone, you know, where it's really thin. But, yeah, it feels kind of weird. And I've seen these people around, you know, with this big old ball hanging off their elbow. And, uh, I'll be honest, I don't want to be one of them, man. I have to get some fucking elbow pads. The cause of it is from like leaning on your elbow and I when I'm in a cabinet I'm leaning on my right elbow most of the time that's how I go into a cabinet I don't work I work I'm right-handed so for whatever reason that's how I end up in the in the cabinet and uh, it's just uh, part of the job but so I'll get that straightened out today, but I'll try to get some shots when I get there. Uh, putting this heater in. It is a leaker, so it's pretty messy. Uh, I mean, it's a very, it's clean, but there's, there's water issues. So I'm gonna, this lady, when I got there yesterday to look at it, the cleaning lady was there. It's a big, beautiful house, and it's absolutely spotless. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put some, I've got some rubber backed, uh, uh, drop cloths they have runners you know they're 4 feet by 12 feet and I'll put them down and uh, do my best to keep this place spotless and uh, get this old crappy heater it's 12 years old get it out and uh, put a new one in for her so we'll see when I get there I'll get you some shots guys thanks hey guys I just want to show you the benefits of having a, a big truck and the comfort of working in it. I got three water heaters in here. Uh, this one's going in. These two are going to my house. And I uh, still got plenty of room. But I've got everything in here I need, man, to, to take care of anything. My issue is I don't want to take care of everything. <laughs> All right. Wipe your paws. No, that's dry. That's... No, I know. Oh. I'm just talking to the camera. Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm here to play with the dog. What are you doing, buddy? Can I have it? Oh, you give it up. My dog won't. Yeah, he does. Yeah, my dog, she doesn't like to. <laughs> Alright, so I'm here to replace this water heater. I've got you turn that breaker off out there. I did. Okay, good. Seven, okay, so okay. Okay. 
So this is it. This is a 12 year old shock pipe ball valve. Looks like it's in good shape to me guys, but I'm gonna put a new one on. Uh, gonna reuse this pan. It's connected to a drain there. And we'll get this water heater out and uh, get rolling. All right, guys, I got my uh, my drop cloths down. Rubber back so they're not going to slide around. And they're not going to get water coming through them. Look at this thing. Ooh, I'm not as good as I thought I was. Wow. Get the old pumpage. Got the water heater. doesn't work. Alright guys, I turned this water, cracked it on for a minute. Get my pump primed, I open that valve. This water's flowing to the outside now. And uh... Go ahead and turn it off. You gotta be careful with these hoses guys you got nasty water in there it'll stay in the driveway and it'll, they keep this place really clean so I'm 
show you how I do these boxes when I have a wet water heater. First I'm going to go pull all this stuff off the top of this. What I do on a water heater box, if I got a wet one in the house, I'll cut the box like this. You gotta be careful you don't put a big scratch on the side of the heater. Cut it on an angle. So I cut this thing on an angle and obviously that water heater wouldn't be in there but when I pull the old one out I put this plastic inside this box and I pull the old heater out and put it in this box and when you tip it back like this how all the water would run to the back of that box and it just gives you a little time to get the heater out of the house I mean don't be playing around get in and get out but I when I first started doing service plumbing I left a uh, I left a rust trail through this whole house through the master bath 
I'm, uh, through the master bedroom, down the living room, and out the front door. And I came back in and there was a rust trail all the way through the house. We had to clean the carpets. And luckily, we didn't have to redo the carpets. I was working for somebody else at that point, which is good. They pay for all your mistakes. But anyways, so that's a good little trick of the trade tech tip. Got my plastic ready. And I'll show you show you a little trick on getting this water heater out of this pan without damaging the pan. Just waiting for this guy to pump down. And I'm going to throw this new one in. And we'll be all set. Alright guys, so the water heater's pumped down. show you how I get this water heater out without damaging the pan. And without without damaging me. Most importantly. Yeah. Take your hand truck. Put it up on the valve.
that, guys. What I want to do is I got to get this pan cleaned out. So what I do now is the same thing with the new heater. Bring it over here. Well, let me dress it out. Try to keep your uh, try to keep the Teflon down one thread, and that'll keep it from. Uh, you know, getting a piece caught in a cartridge or going through the system. nice and clean I'm gonna show you how I get this water heater in I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna grab it grab it by the ball valve
right, so we got an issue. This water heater will not fit in there. Uh, it's got to go up and over. So, a uh, little challenge for one guy, but I'll figure it out. All right, guys, so I'm, uh, I'm on to plan B. I've already exhausted all my know-how on plan A. Somebody's opening a mixing valve somewhere. Uh, so anyways, I carry this lift on my truck. And uh, it's for gas water heaters, uh, mostly. To get them up on a stand. But I'm going to have to try to use it on this to get over over this uh, hump. I just need to get the center of the, this thing is 22 and an eighth. And the heater's 23 inches wide. So I have to pump it up. We'll see. See how that goes. precarious for one guy.
just to have the right tools, guys. 250 bucks for this lift at Halber Freight. Get you one. We did it. Yankee Ingenuity. Alright guys, so I've decided to, uh, that ball valve is not, does not need to be replaced. And uh, you can see it's working fine. And it's perfect on the outside. It's not showing any wear and tear or corrosion. I'm just really surprised because it's, you know, it's a shark bite. The junk.
Who punches the bag out there in the garage? You know who does. She does. She's what? stronger than I am. You should feel her arms. Wow. Mine are mush now. <laughs> That's what I'm turning into. <laughs> Two hundred and twenty-five pounds of mush. <laughs> I used to. I told my doctor. I said I, I'm a real boob man, but I. I didn't want a set of my own. It's a Phillips trait. Yeah, we all have uh, barrel chests, but you know, once you get old, that barrel turns into, you know, droopy, saggy boobs. That's right. <laughs> yeah, in a thousand years, they'll be digging up graves and there'll be two silicone bags. I'll be, like, I'll be like, what the hell is that? So I'm going to reuse this relief line. No, I'm not. No, I am not. This water heater is bigger than the old one. This water heater wouldn't fit in this opening. Yeah, I had to lift it up, but luckily I'm really, really strong and I lifted it up with one hand. Yeah? Yeah, I just picked it up oh, with sure. one hand. <laughs> don't believe me? No. <laughs> I don't either. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, at least it got in there. I mean, it was like a perfect. It was thing. very. It was very. No, this is too small. I literally had to go up you over really this did? thing. Yeah, but I have a lift. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I didn't do it by he hand. Have, I would have been in traction for the next six weeks. He must have uh, put that box there for that handler. It is. That's the return air plenum. Yeah. But um, the wow. problem is, he cut it really short. And they've they modified these water heaters since he built that. Well, whoever did it. Six years. Okay. Yeah, and uh, oh my God. Well, 
Oh, Unfortunately, oh. they're bigger. Hopefully, it's good for another 14, right? <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> 14 years, that's pretty good. I think so. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Cool. done here. I said I left that valve because it's good. No sense. I'm going to let that glue set up for a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to wrap up these cord, I mean these uh, drop cloths, get all my stuff out and then I'll stop filling this guy and uh, be down the, well I actually got to do a lot of work here. Uh, I got to put some faucet trim on, four faucets. So it's going to be a little more work here, but anyways, yeah, this water heater's done. I rotated it a little bit so that you can service it. When I got here, the panels were here, which would have made it really difficult for a plumber to try to replace an element or test it out. So uh, it's in good shape, and we're done. Alright guys, I'm going to stop filling this. Very important when you're using CPVC to never dry fit. Never stick a fitting on without glue. Uh, Unfortunately, a lot of guys do that and it may take five years for that thing to stop leaking and blow off, but when it does, it's a problem, so do not drive fit. Glue it, put it together. Alright, I'm going to let that fill for a minute. I want to show you this lift out here so that bleed this pressure down into the sink here. So see this lift? Harbor Freight. About 250 bucks. They've got another one that's a little bit bigger. But don't be tempted to buy that. Because the fact that this thing's only like 18 inches wide is the trick. It gets in really tight spaces like the one I was just in. If you buy the other one, I think it's two feet wide and it'll screw you. It's got a higher weight capacity, but uh, it ain't going to get you in tight spaces. So what I just did with one guy, especially an older guy, that would have been a real issue. And this is how high it goes up. Hell, it looks like it's almost 30 inches, but anyways, that's how high it goes up. The only issue is you got to have a, makes a nice workbench. Uh, and then when you want to release it, you just tap this. Or let it down quick. So, 
I keep it on my truck. I've got a, a hand truck back there that I use for toilets, a cart, and then I've got a regular hand truck that I'm able to uh, utilize and make my job easier. Unfortunately, I picked these two damn heaters up today and had to take them back off to get this pump, this, uh, this thing out. So can you do that? Let's see you hit that bag a few times. Do oh, you ever do it? You know what? I've got a trick finger. I mean, one of those trigger fingers. I'm, I'm not punching. She does. She, she does? Uses, yeah. She gets up here. She takes her chair right up here. And her wow. lights go right between that. And she just punches away. She Ooh, wails on it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know. Good for that, you. Look at that. That's, I'm two seconds away. I use the back of my hand. <laughs> See? Come on, Orange, I want to work out. <laughs> well, I just joined the YMCA again. I was a member of that Y for 25 years. Oh, yeah? And when I got sick, I had to stop. But now I went back against order, so my doctor's you. orders. I am so glad you're okay. Oh, you me too. truck, too? No. There was a young kid one day I saw. Driving my a, truck? Yeah. No. He was over at... Yeah, oh, yeah, it may have been my nephew. Okay, there you go. That's my nephew. I let him take my truck a few times oh, to do some jobs. Because he was at Deadwaters one day in the, clock, in the uh, uh, parking lot. Really? Yeah. Well, I looked for you over there. Huh. I know you want to play. Well, I saw you the other day at Deadwaters. Yeah, I know. This was way before that. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm filling this heater. Yeah. And uh, then we're going to go work on these faucets. i got to see what's going on with that. Yeah, we're still getting air. Yeah, I know. I gotta get water in this first. I've uh, I filled this whole system up. I got water out of the faucets hot on the hot side. I'm going to uh, turn the breaker on now and uh, hit that switch. I think I'm going to turn the breaker on. Let me get out over there. Don't have my glasses on. I just want to turn the, uh, mm -hmm. the switch on. I always I hit the power, okay. and then I I put my air up against the upper element. That's what's going to kick on first in a uh, on a cold heater, and I can hear it humming. So the electric's on. You should have hot water in about uh, three four weeks. <laughs> Takes a while. Oh, good. We get to take a bubble bath or a birdie bath out in the pond. Yeah, oh, well, the pond the looks good. Nice brown water. <laughs> I know, brackets. <laughs> Here, you can move this. I moved everything for you. You're the best. Hey. I need to hire you. Well, let's uh, see how these come if off. They match. Do you, can you leave these and just yeah. change that out? Oh, way cool. I'm going to let you do it. And just put the old one right back in there. I will close everything up. You know, okay. put everything back because I'm going to dust everything before it goes back in. So we're doing okay. this. We're going to change these out because of that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Is it a big deal to change those out? No, no. No, but I'm going to see once. I'm going to try to take the aerator out and see if I can just. Uh,
So these these uh, aerators that you have that you can't see, the unintended consequence of these things is that you it corrodes the end of the faucet and every faucet will be that way. Also, you don't have to see any radar. Ridiculous. Form taking precedence over function. That's what I'm talking about. So, what I'm going to do is... It's just a scotch bright pad. Yeah, I cleaned it up. So she called the manufacturer because the aerators, because of this problem, the corrosion and aerators, and they sent her four brand new faucets, which is crazy. I'm sure these are pretty expensive. I think that's gonna do it. can see that or not. Alright, so I'm going to work on this. This is going to end this video for today. Uh, 50 gallon water heater install. And uh, that's it guys. Have a great day. I hope you learned some tech tips. Uh, cutting the box so that uh, if you have a if you have a wet water heater you can use that box trick uh, also you know using your forklift I mean your uh, hand truck on the on the drain valve on the water heater to get a water heater in or out uh, is a nice trick and then also that lift that water heater lift is a very useful tool if you have it if you have the room on your truck you may want to consider getting one of them or at least have one at the shop where you could get it out to a job quick. So anyways, I hope you learned something. Tune in next time. And uh, until then, this is John Phillips. Have a great day.